Um, what the fuck actually just happened? Um, well, we did steady state endurance, and then we pushed it at the end. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I am I'm very happy that you guys enjoyed that playlist. It's not necessarily the kind of music you can listen to, first of all, in traffic. I don't recommend that. Very anxiety-producing. It's literally like in a workout or at a festival. Your toddler came in, so it looks like you need a hug. Yep. We have raptured. Some of us have passed away. Um, hi. There's, there was probably... 10 lyrics total in that entire playlist. That's it. We were after the feeling. The feeling was... What would you just... What would you... If you were to name that. I mean, I have some names. Yes, yeah, the Pelo Ravers. I would say that one was for you, but it's for everybody, but I, get, I know you guys enjoyed it. One, one descriptor. One adjective. Name that playlist. Or, or ride. You didn't know that. You didn't know I was going to start with Gorgon City. Tell me it's true. Beautiful death ride. Okay. Freeing. Euphoric. Chaos. Intense. Fire. Drop bass in your face. Definitely that. Definitely that. Definitely get into some hip openers. Probably Anna's class. Anna, what are you teaching? She's in the restroom. This is, I know you guys are going to ask, mayhem. 100%. This is like beets, turnips, carrots, kale, garlic, ginger. All sorts of things. Anna? Hi. Hi, what are you teaching? I'm teaching 30-minute intermediate hips. Focus flow. Get on it. <laughs> That's exactly what we need right now, right after that class. So, mm -hmm. And then a relaxing meditation. So oh. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> that is a stack that sounds good to me. That is a sexy stack. Mm -hmm. Yes. Protein. No, there's no protein in this, you guys. I just told you. It's beets, carrots, turnips, mm -hmm. ginger, garlic. Wow. Something green. I'm, I'm really impressed. Sure. <laughs> mm. I am drinking water, though, so I'm doing well, too. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Good, good. You're beautiful. Thank you. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to chug my water. Do it. Do it. You feel like your soul was trying to exit your body to join the ride, and then you had to choke it down. Um... Oh, you're running a half marathon with Candace. Good for you, Tara. It was wild. It was wild. Good morning, everyone. Um, what's my favorite juice? Anything without pineapple or apple. Um, pineapple destroys my tongue and apple destroys my belly. Can you give us one song name from that playlist? Yeah. Archangel was one. Um, the playlist will get posted. You know that when the class gets posted. If I, I have to like get off this page to go and uh, find it for you. But. Oh, really? Can you believe J-Lo got engaged again, y'all? What? I know. It's at this point, like, stop update. Like, we don't, we're done. We don't want to be on this journey anymore. Let us off. Um, I mean, I am a huge J-Lo fan. Don't get me wrong. Love J-Lo. But her personal life and her relationships, that's not what I'm a fan of. I'm not invested in that part. I'm, does that make me not a fan? Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's too much, you know? It's too much. I can't. It's too much for me. The brand of your eyeliner, MAC. Something left my body. Most definitely some some calories. The bullshit, the stress, the chaos of this week. Snot. I was definitely having some snot issues. Um, 
you know, it's definitely one of those rides where you just close your eyes and, like, just journey for sure, for sure. Feeling scrambled. Good, good. Fred again. You like that cool down track? That was dope, right? It was actually beautiful. It felt beautiful to me. <sighs> um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this ride. It was a risk for sure. Yes, I did my own space buns. I, I answered the eyeliner question. It's MAC. It's a pot. It's like the little pot you paint it on. I really like it. How should we done some time end of May, June? What are you and Brittany doing this weekend? We're packing. Nothing exciting. I mean, it's always exciting to hang out. But we're just packing up the house. Sophia and I are moving pretty soon. Um, not out to the house, just to another apartment. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're packing. Packing up eyeliner. I know. I know. Hello. You know. <laughs> Y'all got jokes. I didn't make it past the 500s today. Um, and I, I mean, I really tried. I really was trying to give shout out, like, constantly. So, you know, my apologies if I didn't get your shout out in please know that it is not personal please don't take it personally um i understand how exciting shout outs are and how motivating they are and if it were possible to not compromise the integrity of teaching the class to give shout outs we would do it um however it you know we see the messages at least i do when you're like pissed i didn't get a shout out or like literally in tears because I didn't get a shout out and um you know would, if I could protect you from feeling that way I would but I can't that's on you so just know that we love you no matter what we're rooting for you supporting you no matter what whether you get a shout out or not we're directly loving you through that camera so um you know if you can avoid talking shit about us on social we don't get your shout outs you know, but, you know, also live your life at the same time because I get it. I get it. You wanted a shout out. You didn't get it. Um, anyway, please just know that I really care about you. And um, it hurts my feelings when you guys talk shit. Um, but. <sighs> oh, the snot flick. I actually didn't realize that happened until after I did it. And then I was like, oh, Jess, you are in front of people right now. Um. You probably shouldn't have done that. So, I don't know why I didn't use my towel. It was just one of those moments where it happened. And uh, I'm not sorry about it. I just, you know, don't tell me that you've never flicked snot or, like, done one of these, especially when you're at home, you know? I realize I'm not at home, but I might basically live here, so. hate relationship with me too so um oh right it by regard i have used that song except that i used it a couple years ago when it first came out because it was literally on repeat for me constantly um i have played it but i actually try to not play songs repeat songs um uh, within a two-year window i know that sounds crazy but we we can see when the last time we used each track was and, um, I mean, I might repeat, like, Bike to Tread, but I won't repeat on the same platform. So, um, but maybe it's been a couple years. I'll resurface it. Noted. But, yeah, I don't repeat tracks because I I like keeping things fresh and new for you. And if you like a song, then it's somewhere in a playlist somewhere. Um, you guys feel wasted after the ride. Yeah, I'm also happy it was 30 and not 45. 70. Five cadence. Is that not like the best cadence? Oh, it's the best cadence. Um, will we get more tread classes with you? Absolutely. Look how disgusting and filthy I am. Um, yeah, I'm on the tread every Tuesday. Mm. Mm hmm. Is your house done? Not even close. I think I'm like way late to these comments, so hold on. If you still feel like you're about to pass out, <clears throat> I need you to focus on your breathing. 
Get your heart rate down. Sit down. Make sure that your head is not below your heart. Drink your water. Breathe. And relax. What brow pencil do we use? I use Chanel. Am I going to Coachella? No. Um, I've been to Coachella before. It's cute. It's definitely cute. It's a really good time. Part of me feels like I graduated from it, first of all. Second of all, a lot of my favorite DJs are coming to New York this summer. So, if I can sleep in my own bed, I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? Plus, Coachella is a mix of, like, a couple people that I'm a huge fan of, some people that I kind of like, and some people I never heard of, which is one of the beauties of going to a music festival, discovering new music, falling in love with somebody again. Um, but anyway, no, I'm not going to Coachella this year. Where are the chips? I'm not at the chips. I'm not to my chips yet today. I'm going to scroll to the bottom because I'm definitely way past where. I really love when you guys share stories with me of like, um, like where you're just like, you know what? Maybe I suck today, but I'm still proud of myself for showing up or like I did something. I accomplished something, whether it was a mindset or some physical milestone today, and I'm just fucking proud of myself. Like, those stories are, like, fuel to my fire. Hit me up with those stories. Um, what am I drinking? You guys just joined the show. Um, that's some grit snot right there. Was it that big of a deal? Anna, I was on the bike, and I had a towel right in front of me. And I was just like <laughs> fucking whips not out of my face and like threw it to the right. I think that, and people were talking about it. I think that's a beautiful moment, right? Honestly, like <laughs> I'm picking my nose constantly. Are you really? Not on camera. Oh, but probably sometimes. I did it definitely on camera. It happens. You I didn't even realize it. Allergies are coming. True. Let was her a, live. It was a fan on me today. Let her live. That was new. <laughs> Are you losing this? Sure. From now on. Um, oh, you know. So, so, yeah, I think that you maxed out. You are and have up, taken so teaching to an art. Hey, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, for the next, for the foreseeable future. Um, curtains now. <gasps> um, I really appreciate I that comment. Rod, MD, Rod, D, MD. Um, I, I identify with being an artist first. I was a dancer. I am a dancer, but I grew up dancing, creating in the theater, contemporary stuff. I was just, you know, definitely doing all the commercial things at competition, but, like, in the studio, <laughs> super exploring very strange, deep, complex concepts through my art. So coming to, transitioning to the fitness world, I'm was adamant about not uh, abandoning that part of myself. It's probably impossible to separate myself from that anyway. So I wanted to intentionally make fitness more artful, thinking about how to bring music and an experience and an arc to a ride, obviously combining it with legitimate fitness, but at the same time keeping the experience yeah. artful. The, it's, and, and art is the impact, right, that we have. The, the thought-provoking, the emotional experience, um, the transcendent thing where you forget that you are in a fitness class and you are transported into another place, similar to the way you feel. I feel sometimes when I'm at a, a Broadway show or, uh, a, you know, live music where you just, you know, you forget that, you have bills to pay or, you know, so-and-so doesn't like you or, like, the things that you obsess over all day long just cease to exist and you are in this, like, moment of flow and uh, you feel beautiful. That is intentional. So if you feel that on the bike with me, on the tread, if you feel that, that is on purpose. So thanks for saying that. I appreciate that. 
um, you vomit while riding. Lean to the right. Keep it going. <laughs> I'm going to scroll down because I, I know I'm missing a ton of comments, but you guys are chatty today, and I'm super excited to hear from you. <laughs> I got some arms and light weights coming up soon. I think an intervals and arms class somewhere in the next month or two, and I'm going to be, whether it's live or recording it coach to camera, 10 minute arms and lights. Wait, yeah, I've been missing that as well, so it's coming up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, you guys. I need to shower. A loop tissue box and place it by instructor box. Something like, what are we going to do with a tissue after we use it when we're riding? What do you want me to do with that, <laughs> that tissue? I hear you. I appreciate the ideas and the innovation. What the heck am I going to do with this naughty tissue when I have 20 minutes left in a ride? I'm kidding. I should have used the towel. That was my bad. Um, yeah, lean to the right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, Peloton Guide. How excited are we for this? I've got my guide at home. I've been playing around with it. It's incredible. You can see yourself right up next to the instructor so that you can check your form. You see what parts of your body you're lighting up. You can see what's coming up in the workout. And even in strength, yoga, Pilates, um, if you go into now using the app, you don't even have to have the guy. You use the app and go in and they demo the movements for you. Um, it's incredible. Really innovative. And again, this is why Peloton's a shit. What's up, Dave Miller? I'm not drinking jam for the hundredth time. It's like beets, turnips, carrots, ginger, garlic, something green. Don't really know what. Anyway. Shout out to everybody here. What do I do for recovery? I go to PT. Um, I sleep. I make sure and eat foods that I know are going to assist in recovery and not make it more challenging aka cause inflammation i will eat chips today you guys are very concerned i'm not eating chips i will 100 percent eat chips don't worry um what else do i do for recovery bath epsom salt bath love it live for it i get in scalding hot i wait till it's cold i do get bored in there but that is meditation in and of itself. Um, you guys are so funny. Like, <laughs> so much happened in that ride, and this is going to be known as the snot ride. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm here for it. Um, okay, trolls are here, so I got to go. Have an amazing weekend. Um, if you missed it, there's a new 30-minute sweat study. Trap, EDM, hard style. Words to describe it were, someone said euphoric, thank you for that. Uh, a lot of them said psychotic. Um, <laughs> some people said um, um, transformative or, or, uh, or another dimension and based in your face. And so all of those descriptors are correct. I appreciate you all. If I missed your shout out, here it is. Good, good job. Congrats on your milestone. You're amazing. Keep going. And I'll see you on the next ride. Love you.